talking about these foreign enemies of ours, either from another universe or from right across the ocean. Compare the army ads. This is, this is now gone viral. Two army ads that are, that are running. One out of Russia, one the aforementioned lesbian woke <laughs> army ad in the United States. Which do you think represents a better prepared army going in the right direction? Giant, hulking, muscular guy. Big, muscular guy gets out of bed. He's doing push-ups. Looks like a James Bond villain jumping out of airplanes. Got guns full of rounds. Shooting at their enemies. With a little girl raised by two moms. Oh my gosh. I also marched for equality. Oh my goodness. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. Oh my goodness. Marry my other mom. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord, and I answered my call. So if you're walking down a back alleyway somewhere at night and you see the, the Russian guy with the guns, with the black rifles, saying, which is going to be more intimidating, that guy or the little girl sort of blushing on Santa Monica Pier talking about how wonderful her lesbian mothers are and how she's been fighting for freedom her whole life. Freedom, presumably by freedom here, she's referring to the redefinition of marriage, which even, even Barack Obama opposed like eight or nine years ago. Hillary Clinton, when they ran for president, they said marriage is a sacred union between a man and a woman. So this infantry woman is obviously way more woke than even the most left-wing presidents we've had, I suppose, until Joe Biden. Now, why, why is this? Why are they pushing this out there? It, I actually... I think I understand the logic between the, behind the U.S. Army and the CIA pushing this out. They believe we're not going to fight real wars anymore. It's all going to be propaganda wars. It's all going to be messaging. It's all going to be drip, drab, drip, drab from the government and foisting that on the rest of the world. And our most lethal propaganda that we can put out there is this woke insanity. So they are trying to recruit people for that. It's the, it's the last institution that hasn't been totally taken over by the left, the military, but they're trying to. I think a lot of the officer class has been, and now they're saying, yeah, we don't want guys who look like that crazy Russian. We want super woke girls who are far to the left of Barack Obama, who all they want to talk about is their lesbian mothers. We want them because that, that will be the final institution to fall. And, and by the way, there is a strategic purpose here. They're very good at propaganda, <laughs> very, very good at pro- politics on the woke left. In this debate here over the woke army ad, in the woke CIA ad, for instance, we we compare it to the Russian army ad where it's the crazy guy with the giant muscles shooting guns, and and we we laugh about that. But in our public discourse, you're not really allowed to suggest there's anything wrong with the the woke army ad. What's wrong? Are Are you saying it's wrong to redefine marriage? Are you a, are you a bigot? Are you a phobe? You must be a, what are you saying it's wrong for two lesbian women to raise a child who knows whose child it is, but are you saying that's wrong? That's somehow not the same as a husband and a wife raising a child. How dare you? Are you saying it's wrong that this girl is fighting in combat? Are you, how dare you, you're, you're really not allowed. I mean, I guess we'll do it on this show for as long as they let us stay in the air to suggest, huh, maybe, you know, maybe that isn't ideal. Maybe there, you know, there are more ideals, ways of of raising children or fighting wars, but we'll say it, but you're not really allowed to say that at universities, at the workplace. You're not really allowed to say, in the government, certainly, you're not, you're not allowed to say it anywhere. So much for academic freedom. There's always going to be boundaries on these things. (sighs) You know what I'm going to say. I don't even need to say it. It should be, you should have done it already. Ring that bell. Subscribe like the video. Make sure that you get the notifications. I'll see you next time.